It's a very busy morning, so we're going to get right to the breaking news. That explosion on a crowded street in Lower Manhattan. Yeah, there's the surveillance footage of the moment the device went off on 23rd Street in the Chelsea neighborhood. Bystanders running away. First responders rushing to the scene. 29 people taken to the hospital. And moments later, just blocks away, a second suspicious device was found. A pressure cooker with a cell phone and wires attached, all wrapped in a plastic bag. Now, the mayor of New York says the blast was, quote, an intentional act, but says there is no evidence of terrorism right now. He may have been trying to calm fears, but the incident in Manhattan follows a pipe bomb explosion at a Marine charity race in New Jersey and then a stabbing attack at a mall in Minnesota. We do have team coverage of this fast moving story, and we start with ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, who's in studio for this for us this morning. Brian, good morning. Well, good morning, Paula and Dan. An urgent, urgent search underway now for the bomber. A frightening night with one bomb exploded and a second device discovered a short distance away. And while the New York City mayor says there is no evidence of terrorism, investigators tell us it's still too soon to know for sure just who is responsible. The bomb came on a final summer Saturday night in a popular neighborhood on the west side of New York City. This surveillance video inside a fitness center shows the blast just after 8.30. A white flash as glass shatters. 615, there was an explosion. This unit saying it was an explosion from a garbage pail. Have units stay off the block. We do want to be very clear. Uh, the early indications, the initial indications, is this was an intentional act. Officials say the bomb appears to have been placed in a toolbox left next to the construction trash container. In one video obtained by police, a man is seen crossing the street in the vicinity of where the object was left. The trash container was blown clear into the street by the force of the bomb. The ground shook and like windows shook and there's like this big flash of light. Just Yet incredibly, no one was killed. There were 29 injuries here, one considered serious. 24 of these people have been transported to area hospitals with various degrees of uh, scrapes, abrasions uh, from, from glass, from metal. Then, two hours later, and just four blocks away, police discovered a second device in what appears to be a pressure cooker found inside a plastic bag with wiring and a cell phone attached. The NYPD bomb squad removed the device as bomb-sniffing dogs searched the area for even more suspicious packages. And police at the NYPD Counter-Terror Center scanned surveillance videos from dozens of cameras looking for clues as to who was responsible. Police this morning say they still don't know if the second device contained explosives or just wires and a phone to replicate a bomb. But the fact that it was contained in a pressure cooker like this one is of great concern. This simple kitchen device is a favorite of terrorists around the world. There are recipes and instructions to build a bomb online. And of course, the two bombs set off at the Boston Marathon were both contained in pressure cookers just like this one. Remember the innocent days when these were simple kitchen devices? Exactly, right. Gone. Yes, exactly. Thanks. And they still don't know exactly what was in this one, but they've taken it to a, a location where they have a controlled detonation. Thank you, Brian, our chief investigative correspondent. We'll be back to you later in the show. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks again, Brian.